serving balls into the box, but I don't really remember a clear chance that they had. Um, it was unfortunate the way their goal was scored. You know, Taylor, you saw all day her handle those very well and uh, mishandled that one, and it results in the game winner. But um, they had the ball, so I don't know if I would mistake that for them having a lot of chances. You second didn't pick half, it up there, we, yeah. yeah, second half, I just think we just pressed them a little bit higher up on the field, but it wasn't so much defending as it was attacking. We kept the ball better in the second half. We kept the ball better. So um, we had a good chance in the first half with Ari. I think she knocked one off the crossbar. Um, and with a cross from Kayla to Sarah Fiola. And then in the second half, I mean, Callie McKinney had a clear look on a corner. Their keeper made a big time save on it. So I thought we, in games like this, those are three really good chances, and we created them all. Um, despite not having the ball for 45 minutes in the first half, um, thought we did better with the ball in the second half, but then couldn't find the equalizer. But you said it's it's such little margin for error in all these Absolutely. games, is it not? I mean, for for every team. No question. I mean, you watch all um, all the ACC games are result resorting to um, set pieces, throw-ins different types of things like that, this is a mistake. Um, so it's it's a game of inches. So they, they, they had a better chance. I don't even know if I could call it a better chance. We had really good chances. Um, they were a little bit more opportunistic. Taylor had a seven save game. Uh, last game, nine saves. She's been quite busy back there the last few times out, right? Yeah, and again, the seven saves are crosses that she cuts out, or deep services that she comes for and saves. Um, so I, again, it's not that they were these great saves. She did exactly what she needed to do, come off her line, maybe 10 or 12 yards off her line, and that's really awesome. Unfortunately, you know, mishandled the one that went in, um, but you had seen her do that the, the seven or eight other times um, to give us a chance to win the game. Here now talk about having to go on the road for three and it comes down to the final four, you know, I mean, the final four games and everybody's going to be kind of jockeying for position the next couple weeks. Absolutely, especially at Virginia Tech because Virginia Tech might be at the bottom of the league, but they're exceptional. Uh, and now we have to go there and they need points and we need points and nobody gives you anything. Um, so the good news is, is we have a little bit of time to rest and kind of recover, watch some film on them or some more film on them and then um, play a very good team on Sunday. Um, but that's the way the ACC goes. I mean, everybody is, is exceptional. Um, and we're learning. I mean, we're learning every single game. Uh, we just have to be able to, to win a 1-0 game. Talk about your seniors at Senior Day and what they've met. Yeah, I mean, they're, they're, it's a unique group because really only Caroline Kimball has been here for four years. Taylor Bufflin has been here for two years. And then Vari, Andy, Hannah Harris have been here. Well, Hannah Harris has been here a little bit longer too, but Amy and Barry just one year from different institutions. And you know, I, I think all players want to play. And while Caroline and Taylor are the only two that really play, um, I don't want the other three to, to mistake that they weren't a part of this program and a part of the success. And this is a good year for us. And we still have a lot of games to play. Um, but they, we value their contributions. They're all in. They compete hard. Um, I know they want more minutes on game day, but it's um, unfortunately that's the way it goes sometimes.